bored me to death. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but it was all on open mic. Yeah. And the whole, you know, f- whatever, 500 drivers or whatever at the time, yeah. could actually hear it. Not, not a good thing to happen, is it? But we, um, Paul they, and myself, they, did our license. took him off the circuit after <laughs> Yeah, it was you, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably was. But yeah, it might, it might as well have been. <laughs> but, but Paul and myself did our licenses recently, and we did them online. Yeah, yeah. We, we just renewed them. With online. Yeah. November, it, it was November. a different process. I think mine was easy last time I'd done it, yeah. apart from I failed the medical. Oh, well, that, that can oh. happen, yes, of course. I ran. Um, my doctor, you know, the, the problem now is with doctors getting the medicals done, oh. being over 50, you have to get these... Are you over 50? 50, 56? Really? We're only you just, don't look we're, Thank just. you, Dave. It's, it's the makeup and plastic surgery. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I had to run. I got a private doctor instead, which was a big mistake. You really should stick with the GP. That's what I found. GP, yeah, yes. stick there. Because he said to me, the GP, uh, if you take your blood pressure mm. i'll take it five times it's you know blood pressure is very variable but i ran i was late for this appointment oh. <laughs> running there sat down she took the blood pressure and uh it was one point over oh. and it was because i'd rushed to get there and my blood pressure is always normal but i didn't know no so i send it in and then they, they refuse your license because i was 101 i think yeah so it's yeah. the hundred is a yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but often so. they take it three times it's usually the middle of the figure they go for. yeah it's this yeah. You're not going to be done. You get like a white coat syndrome, don't they? Yeah. You come down to see, see the doctor, everybody gets a little bit anxious. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's important. The medical's important. It, it can make a big difference. Well, yeah, and at our age. I mean, I don't know what you're carrying now, Dave. How many years uh, under that? No, I'm, st- I'm still as young as ever. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had my first medical yet. No, no. <laughs> no, but I think it's, it's about it's the same, Dave. We are the we're same. About, we are we about are the same. same. I think uh, I'm it's, 63. It's, oh, you look good for 63, Paul. I'm yeah. a couple of years younger. And are you? Yeah. Months. But it's a new suit that makes a difference. Well, that suit, <laughs> I mean, really and truly. I'm wondering which premiership football player you are the um, agent for. Well, yes, that's exactly right. Stanley you know, Matthews. Could, could <laughs> and actually, Dave, it is an ensemble. That tie is wonderful. It Thank really you. it goes. It's right. done up properly. Um, you know, Paul's tie is yep. ordinary yeah. compared to your... It is. Yeah, I think I'm going to have the week off next week. Because because <laughs> you know, the, the, the stress of today, yeah. all, the, all the remarks, yeah. all the jokes... Yeah. We've seen an increase all round since October, really, and with the, with people coming in, we've seen a. An inc- we're talking yes. about this today, so we, we have seen a considerable increase yep. uh, coming up. I thought it would happen later. I thought it maybe came April next year, would yeah. Finish, but it's coming about six months earlier than I thought it would. It's definitely it's, oh yeah, all over. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, all, uh, Green ba- uh, Green all, all, on, all London, all over. Definitely yes. seen it. Yes, so, yeah, we saw it. Yeah. You have touched upon the fact that there is growth. Um, we are yeah. seeing the fact that there is an, a groundswell of people doing the green again. Yes, yes. Um, it's hopefully going to get quicker. Uh, like, <laughs> you know, this is always word of mouth. I'm. We had a guy in from Taxi PR. And I am, there is, for me, the advertising of our trade is always the fact that you tell, you tell people yourself that yeah. I am well, a taxi driver. Yeah, it is yeah. worth doing. Why would I tell you it's well, worth doing when it isn't yeah. worth doing? Yeah. Um, and there were, a, I think we went through the spell where taxi drivers were telling people it's not worth doing. Yes. That's and, well, it's the same old, well, social media, we can get onto that, but it's all, the game's dead while you're yeah. doing it. And it ain't dead at the moment. No. It's good at the moment. And, and it's a good time to get into it. Whatever age you are, yeah. get into it. Well, I think it looks good for the future, to be honest. I think, yeah. I think looking mm. ahead, yeah. it's, uh, and we're, you know, it's, it's a very good product. Uh, we're wanted. Yeah. Um, we really have uh, sort of uh, up the oh, game. The, the yes, the we should see some growth. You know, the new cabs, credit the, cards, all these things it, have helped. Yeah. 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 And the app, yeah, the credit cards, yep. the electric yep. uh, cabs, is, well, the, the credit cards, big difference. has been a big mm. turnaround. Yeah. And, uh, well, since, what, since what, 2016, 17, since yeah, have come in... And then, I don't know, it's, it's the young young kids are using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd thing. like to see the scrappage go away. I don't see how that applies on electric vehicles. That seems like a, a, a salesman tactic now. Yeah. <coughs> if you're re- meeting the standards of pollution and whatever it is, why, why would you scrap a vehicle that's perfectly working order? And Dave, me and you are from the era where people used to keep their cabs mint. Uh, no, I did. I kept two cabs for... 12 years each, literally, a yeah. uh, uh, TX4 fairway and a TX1, which was the well, same engine, yeah. basically. So, uh, sorry, TX1 fairway and a TX1, so they're both the same Japanese engine. Yeah. And you could keep them on, but my the TX1 was running out, so I had about three years left, and then that's when it went. On scrappage or? No, I wouldn't have, no, I mean, I just got, uh, I put it in for overall, funny enough, and it came out of overall, it was in the garage uh, after the overall, all overall been passed, shiny, looked great. A gentleman walked in that he wanted a cab for about th- a cab for three years, and he said, "Where can I find a good cab?" He said, "You want that one on the ramp?" 
And sure enough, he gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. And uh, sadly, I say it like, was like the tearing my arm off. Right? Yeah. It was, uh, and it went. And uh, but it was it, it made sense because he had three years wanted you so that's all he was yeah. retiring after that and i was busy full time so yeah it made sense well, they, they were i mean it was the overalls that done that i mean my yeah. my engine on my one was oh went on forever at the end oh. it was time it, it ran out of his years mm. uh, but the, the engine was spotless you could yeah. you could put your hand with a white glove yeah. on it and, and the overalls were doing that so why have we gone slightly backwards in that department then why are because the, the overalls are they were such a high standard you know, you you could get the car refused because there was dirt on the lens inside oh, the, if, the, if, in the it was like yeah. Discolored, yeah. So you know, we d uh, that was a bit extreme, but the fact was that the, when the garages took the cab, they would it would come out looking mint it's and you validated and everything, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, engine steam clean at the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. lot. but we we can't really say on on that on that topic really. It's not really our mm, not your department. Not really, no. But it would be nice to see no. the scrappage on well, these. That's the thing. That's the thing. With, with, with the knowledge. Everyone who's in the knowledge and doing the knowledge and taxi drivers, we are TFL. Yeah. They only see us as TFL. We don't, you know, we ask Buckingham Palace to Big Ben, and that's what we do, basically. Yeah. But they just think that we are licensing, we are compliance, yeah. we are TFL, because that's the only, they only see us. Mm. Is that an TFL. exclusive, that question, Buckingham Palace to Big Ben? I can let everybody know that's going to be asked. because we can. It's a bank. <laughs> And uh, no, but yeah, but that's but that's what I see us, and that's everything yeah. comes to us. Oh, what, what can you do about that? Why are you doing? Yeah, you, know, you do get the blame. Licensing. Yeah, but because but we're the only ones they see. Yeah. So okay, appearances. <clears throat> so uh, the students have been saying, "Please ask this. Please ask that. Please ask this." So, that's what um, hesitation, hesitation is the thing of the moment. So, what do you feel about hesitation? How do you how do you mark for hesitation? Unlike Steve Thomas, who just marked you for hesitation. My initial talks, yep. I say it's the same old thing, same old thing. If I, it's, you're the examiner, I'm the candidate. I'm going to go from St George's Circus over Blackfriars. We start St George's Circus, lead by Blackfriars Road, forward Blackfriars Bridge, and forward, whatever. Yeah. Okay. And then someone comes, same question, and they go, yep, St George's, yep, St George's Circus, we'll leave by... Uh, we leave by Waterloo Road. No, we won't. We go by, uh, we go by Blackfriars Road. Yes, we will. Right, got it now. We go Blackfriars Road. We're going to go forward up over to um, St George's Circus. Leave by Blackfriars Road. Forward Blackfriars Bridge. Then we go forward Farringdon Street. No, we don't. No, go, let's go back to the bridge. So let's <laughs> go back to the bridge. Right. How would you mark them two differently? How can you mark mm. them the same? We go by that box. All right. Well, Unilever Circus, I'll take one off maybe. Maybe mm. not because nerves. Yeah. The other one, can I mark him the same? Is he confident? Does he know exactly where he's going? So could you take one off for that? Could you take two off for that? Yeah. You, that's what they don't understand. We've only got a criteria to mark from. We yeah. don't make it up. But we, they only see their self. They don't see the people coming through who confident, calling, nice, easy, yeah. slow. You're comparing them to the, the best going down. We're, we're comparing them to them. Mm. Well, we're only comparing them to themselves, if that makes sense. Mm. So it's there to be marked if they're not calling it fluently. So if you ask me a question and I sit down and say, okay, I think, okay, leave on the left. It, have I hesitated or? No. no. So I am. You've got 20 uh, minutes in the exam. My view would be sh surely I've got to have a moment to just think about what I'm pretty much going to do. You're not a computer. Yeah, and I'm going to then start. But there are stories, they're probably all untrue, of people being told, um, come on, start. You've got to get, get away in the cab. You ain't got no time to think when you're in the cab. And I think, well, you've got probably more time in the cab to think. But they're being pushed to start, and that doesn't seem entirely great. Just give me a second. You've asked a question, and if you'd have asked me my own name, I would have also have hesitated. So just let me gather my thoughts and then go. So the hesitation should only really apply once the question started to be answered. Okay, then the next thing would be this. Um, I hesitate during the answering of the question, and you pipe in with, come on, let's get going, you're taking too long. Um, well, you're going to deduct points for hesitation, that's fine, but it's my hesitation, and you really have just mucked up my chain of thought. I think in the uh, 14 years I've been there, I've certainly never said it. Anything? Why? No. Okay. Let the, let the person 
complete the run. I'll, I'll, really. I'll get to the end of the yeah. second, third run, and then say, so you've got 20 minutes in now. Yep. You've, took, you've been 18 minutes. So if you interrupted me, if I, I would have a... If you while you was doing the run, yep. why would I do that? I, well, it, you're, you're up in the ante in a sense. If the examiner does that, they're basically making my question harder because um, you're putting me off. Right. And but, but so if is, we, is the examiner if we, helping or is he putting you off? That's, that's a distinction there. Because um, sometimes do we do actually try to... So if somebody gets stuck halfway, we sometimes give them, a, a, in, despite the rumours, we actually try and give them a boost. Say, just slow down, think about that carry on from there mm -hmm. and just to keep them going and you know and and that's fine we we've been in the chair it's we understand there's a yeah. difference between a prompt mm. come on you go on you know you know where you're going yes that's encouragement but, yes. Uh, but if they get a d at the end of it we've interrupted them mm -hmm. yes when they've got a c at the end of it they never complain but interruptions Shouldn't be happening, should it? Really, you shouldn't interrupt someone who's thinking. No, I mean, I mean, often people do get stuck, and they, they know where they're going. The nerves can take over. It's like if you are, if I was giving a talk, if I was doing a, a guided tour, for instance, I could be doing a guided tour of Covent Garden, and suddenly my brain just stops. Yeah, I can't think of what I'm going to do. You allow people time to cover, or maybe I'll give you a prompt. You just need Grosvenor yes. Gardens there. We're not yep. out to actually fail them. We get some candidates at the beginning of a run, let's say. And they want to actually work out the whole run mm. before they start. Now, that's all very well doing that. And we're sitting there, and you can hear the candidate going through left, right, right there. And then they think, no, I want to change that now, and I want to go again, and I want to go again. This is before they start the run. Mm. And the time is ticking in, in that sense. But, and also from the candidate's point of view, you've now got so many options. Yep. You've got five or six options, whether the first one would have probably been the better one overall, the instinct. Nearly one. always. Nearly always, yes, absolutely right. But you've now got five or six options, then the run starts, and then they stop and think, no, I wanted, I wanted route C. And mm. then, so you're going back and forth. You know, it's, it's a very different from, as you said, in the filming, if yeah. you were in the room and see what actually happens, because the 20 minutes, I know the candidate can't time the 20 minutes. I couldn't time when I was in my exams. I couldn't tell you when I was in there for five minutes or half an hour. Yeah. You just lose track of time. No, I know. So and that's what happens. And the really. idea behind that was that when you, when I want to query some of the appearances, mm. I know full well that you ask the student what happened. Mm. And when they're actually conveying to you what happened, they make four or five mistakes in their conveyance of a story that's already been that's through right. their head. So how are you making mistakes with the, you're telling me you said this, this, and this road. Yeah, well, that didn't make sense. And no, no, what I meant was this, this, and this road. Yeah, that makes sense, but you had one go to get it. How do you know you didn't say that in the yeah. first appearance? So they don't know what they're saying. It if we make mistakes, we're, we're quite yeah. happy to... I mean, Paul himself. No, you've been great with yeah. any mistakes, and that's it's just no, the it's humility of, of everyone who's ever yeah. passed out. We have to accept we yeah. don't know everything, and we don't no. not we're not the unhuman. Last, the last no. thing you'd want to do is let's say you took off ten marks for an illegal turn. I've I've done it. I've made a mistake, gone home at night, and suddenly it's been on my mind. And the next day I've gone back, checked it. Oh, made an error. I've rung the candidate back. Mm -hmm. Got Katie's okay on it. I said to him, "Sorry, my apologise. Yeah. Entirely my fault." Ten marks are back. You've got a C back. We'll change the card yeah. when you come in, and all uh, it gets goes through yeah, Katie I've, as well. Absolutely that. fine. Yeah. And Paul's on it, and all the examiners I've have done, done it. That. You, we're human beings. We we do make errors. We don't wish to. Mm. We want to get it right, and we want to be fair and but honest about we're, it. We we're, we're making yeah. shorthand notes of yeah. I write the whole runs down. What, what, what they're saying. Yeah. 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 You know, like I, I do ah. water loop yeah. W A T with an arch on the top, mm -hmm. so I know where they're going and what they're going. You haven't got time to make that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just listen to what they're saying, look at the map, and then you sort of know because it, when they call the one, it sounds like a song. Yeah. And it, they, they, they sing the song, if they, and if it, the, it, then it goes wrong. The words are wrong, then that's wrong. And then that's the skill, isn't it? We have the, we can hear instantly sort of the bad grammar. Yeah. So if you, if you knew. So yeah, we're, right. we're shorthand, bang, 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 we can say, uh, Waterloo Bridge, wherever they're gone, bang, yeah. bang, bang, in five or six hieroglyphics. And then you might get an email coming back. No, I didn't go there. I've done this. I've done this. I've done this. And you think, well, you're not. You haven't. But then it's our word against their word. But we've actually yeah. worked down where yeah. they've gone, kind of thing. You know, it's my my rule of thumb on this always was when even, even when you was calling Blue Book as a beginner, you would the person who's calling would say, no, I definitely said it. But the person who's listening is nearly always right. You you yeah. didn't say it. 
you aren't you can't do both at the same time um so it would make um judications easier for you to sort of argue against this my word your word is a little yeah. bit archaic for nowadays it is but um, that's, that's, that's what we've got at yeah. the moment though that's yeah. what we've got but it's the majority of them is write it down on i well, certainly we do write down what well, as much as we can no, no, sure. um dave you pointed out when you w- took an appearance that Mr. Chalcott, hadn't, you hadn't even sat down. Well, so, I, I, I've, sort of heading, I've sort of got to the chair slightly. Yeah. So this is another thing that the students have asked me to say. So is it fair that I walk in the room and you're saying, okay, let's go from, and I actually haven't sat yeah. down Okay, yet. I'll tell you for why. You've come in, got your iPad in the hand, you've got your phone in this hand, you're standing good stuff. up. Oh, okay, let me go from Waterloo Station, sir. Oh, oh, okay, I'll just t- t- oh, put that. Oh, put no, put that side. Really, that happens. It's shocking, I, 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 and that's and they're, they're coming in. And yeah, can we have your card, sir? Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I send my coat outside. Okay, then. Oh no, I've got it in here, and it, and then they're standing there. And they've got a cup of water, and then can I, can I drink in it? Yeah, of course you can drink in there. And they put it down over there. Put it down over there. And then can I put it up on the shelf? No, put it over there. And over there. not all of them. But the ones who come in with their phones, with their yeah. iPads, I'll just turn my phone off. Okay, yeah. Oh, and they're standing up. It's sort of... Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That, well, you're giving me pearls. This is fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that, it, it ain't everybody. No, no. It, it makes but sense. It's like, and then they sit down and they go, oh, so what was that? I said, be prepared. Yes. Be prepared. Card out. Sit down. Thank you very much. Waterloo Station, sir. Yeah. For your next one. There's it, no... Uh, not to hurt them, just to... It's a little bit of like um, lack like of children. social skills on their part. It's lack of. It's just come in, sit down. We do it. I yeah. never, I never worry. I let them come in, sit down. Yeah. I ask how they are, and I'm never in a hurry to start. I just mm-hmm. not. No, not, I, I, don't, I, don't I do, like the, the, I do. But on that rare occasion where they've got their iPad in there and they've got the class. There's, there's a reason for it. Yeah, yeah you're and, looking. And, at. But that ain't then. I don't expect them to answer that and say, "What? You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Cool. That's a fantastic answer. Well, I think it's brilliant. Um it's an aspect so, that I didn't consider. So all those watching, yeah, turn your phones off, put them in your pocket, wait for the call. On, on that yeah. particular issue, does it does it with the phones in the let's say waiting areas, for instance? Sometimes I wonder, does it make the candidate more nervous in the sense that they might be looking at things that are maybe asked or whatever? It's bad. It's bad advice. They, if you was going to advise them, yeah, don't mean, do it. You know what you know the night before, yeah. really. Um, sometimes they might get more anxious by having the iPad or the phone, looking at different things. Thinking, I'm not quite sure of that. And yeah. Mr. Hall and Mr. Whitehead's asking that now. Um, and then going into that. Sometimes you're better off to leave it blank. I think you always yeah. are, Dave. I yeah. think you compare it. I always make many sporting metaphors and stuff, but you are now ready the day before, even you the are. day before that. Now yeah. it's a case of let everything sand settle on the bottom so it's all under control. All you're doing is bringing to the forefront stuff, which more, more is making you unbalanced. Really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Let everything settle. Be calm. Don't do anything. Don't call Blue Book today. Don't do point to point today. Rest. Go for the appearance. You've trained. What yeah. more do you think you're going to learn in these I'll 10 I'll minutes? I don't do 25 miles a day before a marathon. That's yes, sure. that, that's the same metaphor. Yes, it's this you're ready, you don't wear yourself out beforehand. I, I used to go to like Joe, uh, Joseph Grimaldi Park on Pensonville Road, and they used to call like 30 Where, Dave? 60. Where? Yeah, the, the, the Joe Grimaldi. <laughs> Grimaldi. <laughs> and he's teasing me now. Um, <laughs> but I used to call about 30 or 60 Blue Book runs just before the appearance. So I'd, I used to get there early just to get some fluency going, just so to get some big difference with the stages. Mm hmm. All right. Big distance, second appearance. But not really, because it's the same thing. The, you know, the, the questions might get progressively harder onto stage five, mm-hmm. but I just need them to get me from one place to another place. Yeah. And could you be a taxi driver at the, the end of this? Yeah. Not anything else, really. I'll, you know, they're going about worrying about us and all that. I'm, I'm, I don't... And when they come and sit down, I don't know what they're going to score. I've got, I haven't got a clue what they're going to score. They tell me, and I'll just score it. Yeah. So, it, apart from the progression on the stages, there's no setup. You, you work out the questions per stage and what's going on and where you are and what you're doing, but it's up to them how they yeah. answer it because mm. the, you don't have any philosophy there, Dave. Um, Something no, you're looking for? Of course, no, he's no, got philosophy and everything. <laughs> No, there's not, there's not really any philosophy on it in the sense that um, I feel like knowledge has changed in some ways. In the in my time, it was very much the only way to do the knowledge was to actually go out on the bike and yeah. actually do it that way. You you could get a Kelly's 
at us and, and use that as a slight help. Yeah. But that was it. And now it's, of course, modern technology and, and it's a great help. I can't say it isn't. Mm. But it's useful if people have actually been there, actually yes. seen places, and uh, actually, you know, fairly big points, sensible points. And have they actually been there? Do Are we jealous know? of them because we had to go there? No, no. I, I actually think. No, they should was be jealous of that. Yeah. Like yeah. Yellow Pages and the Thompsons. So yes. that we didn't have a Google. choice. Yeah. That, that was, was my Google. A BT yeah. phone book. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was very yeah. much yeah. Like Everyone said to me, get the Kellys, but the Kellys had gone. Yeah, oh, the no, Ke- Kelly. no well, Kellys. Yeah. Mm. You could only get the Kellys if uh, you couldn't afford the new Kellys. You had to, I had to get one second hand from the library. Luckily, they were checking one out. Uh-huh. And uh, I just lucky to pick one. And you could, that was about the nearest you could get to say, it was on the so edge of the road. They don't realise that they went in the back of my scooters, and most scooters were phone books. Yeah. Yeah. You'd stop and you'd be looking up door numbers. There's no Googling or so, anything so like that. Some cabbies carried the no. Kellys with them in the cab. Because if they got a a point that was or an obscure block of apartments, they'd look up the Kellys on that. It was well, a golden book. At the you, time. You've brought up another issue that was said to me today about someone saying why, how that they should release a load of new points and let us know what they are. And I said, well, the idea for me behind new points is I, I'll ask it on a Monday, and I'm expecting people to start knowing it by the Friday because you you had to go out. We used to have to chase and go out this stuff, and they they definitely. Do not go out in the modern era right. Can I like just, we did. Just expand no, on that a little bit. I, I remember asking the uh, the Nomad Hotel, for instance, to give you an example opposite the Royal Opera House in Bow Street. And of course, they were there was the old Bow Street Magistrates Court, and they knew they were building a, a, a museum inside. So nowadays, in the old days, certainly the candidate would have that point before, maybe before the examiner. I don't know because I don't know didn't know the examiners at my time. But now. I've got to start asking it, or the other examiner's got to start asking it, and then after two or three weeks, it filters down. Yes. But in the old times, you would have seen the building works going on. You know it's going to be big. You know yes. it's going to be a hotel. A bit like uh, Grosvenor Place now with the hotel coming up there. You know it's going to happen. Yeah. Why wouldn't you put that in your bag and say, right, I'm going to have that, and would if I get asked it? No, it's n- that, that's the but big the fundamental difference between, let's say, the 80s or when we've done it, and now. Are you just concentrating on what the examiner asks on the point sheet and not looking at anything to the left or right of that particular point? It is very much the case. That's, that's, yeah, that's, they're the, chasing that's a big difference. what we ask. We, we only ask, ask what's yeah. out there. Yeah. 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 There we are some it. that do try and predict oh, yeah. what yes, you they ask. Do. They, they are do. trying to predict. Yes, they, yeah. But the, the prediction part, David, like you said, it comes from the volume of, of road work we did. Yeah. So You're doing the mileage. Yes. yes we did a – my pattern would be call my blue book, do my point to point, and out. So now the pattern is do your blue book maybe, call point to point, ah. and then go home, and then out on Saturday and out yeah. on Sunday. So my, my, my pattern would work differently with the British Legion School was literally up at 3 o'clock in the morning, out for six hours on the bike till 10 o'clock. Could be, when it was safer, because you're safe in the morning without mm-hmm. the traffic, into the school at 10, points on the board, three hours, four hours calling over, home, hours sleep, Call over with a partner or another call over partner till nine o'clock, and you did that for a year yep. once you were on appearances. And that was the system. And yeah. the weekend, you did another eight or nine hours out on yeah. the bike yeah, each I, day. I had to do it before work. Yes, exactly right. Yeah. After work. Yeah, so but you had to fit it around work. So you cy- had to cycling yeah. all the way over to West London, hours and hours, and getting back. And that's why she said you're not going out on Saturdays. Yeah, so you've done the, yeah, yeah. Well, because otherwise it, it's just too much. So. Mm-hmm. Well, academically, the physical work should follow the mental work, not the other way around. So the physical work before the mental work is harder than yeah. The yeah, do the mental stuff, yeah. then go out on a bike. You could do that until you drop. You, you could have yeah. a system. You've got yes. to have a pattern. And yeah. But they don't have that now, do they? No, it's just going out. That's the trouble. It is mm-hmm. going I mean, if I, I mean the, the earth, let's say the other house hotel in South Kensington. I mean, I, 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 was, I, I was cycling over Albert Bridge one morning and a friend of mine rang me and said, oh, my friend's got a new job in the bar and it's at the other place. And I thought, oh, right, okay, not sure of that. This is the Harrington Hall Hotel. And I go around there, look at it. Oh, the old Harrington Hall's gone. The other house hotel, South Ken, is there. Five-star yeah. hotel, brand spanking new. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Yeah. And, of course, it's, I've got to start asking it. Yes. Until it filters down, as you're saying, exactly the same thing on the Monday morning. Normally, in the past, the, the candidate, the knowledge boy or girl, would have had that, gone, oh, that's new, that's there. Yeah. It's been there over two or three months. No. And the way you It go. would depend on the level you was at as well. If you was at yes, the forefront, yes. I will know that point by tonight. Yes, exactly yeah. right. And yes. if you're at the back end, the fifty sixes, yes. then you'll know it by Friday or yeah. Saturday. You wouldn't expect but that. you got longer you time before it starts. Yeah. You got long yeah. and you'd yeah. wait till four or five, especially if you're asking it new. Yeah. And then wait for it to come down to the stage three and a later stage. But yeah, but mm. they, it, it's very isolated as well. If they do go out and look at a point, they look at a point, but they don't see what's next door, what's exactly. behind, yeah. what's next. Looking for what's coming. Because you know that Well, yeah, if if 
you get that restaurant there, and by next Likely. week, everyone gets it, there's good chances I'll win. I was there, I took the name of the yes, one next door to it. So, uh, on that note, right, we've been talking for nearly an hour and 20 minutes, so yeah, I only have joke, one uh, ten last minutes. We've said we're going to be boring, talk for five minutes, and no. you chuck us out. Oh, I, 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 I think it's been wonderful, it's yeah, been one yeah. of the best I podcasts we, I've done. We'd be the most boring here, so we thought you'd want to get rid of us quick. Yeah, that's what no, we're no, no, really. Well, best I'm dressed. Amazed. We say that Dave is the best dressed, he's the deaf, best dressed. Dave Hall I've ever seen. <laughs> um, bar none. Yeah. Bar none. Yeah. I mean, your wife won the lottery or something, Dave. Something's happened. What's happened? What, would she, won the, she won the lottery marrying me. I think mean, <laughs> you get a lot of arguments with that one. Yeah, my, yeah. my last question is going to be, you are going to tell someone to do the knowledge. What's, what's your advice to them? What are you going to say? I would say um, decide on a date you want to finish. In other words, yeah. don't let us decide the time you finish. If you want to, let's say, get married, like in my case, I wanted to get, uh, get married, uh, buy a house, because I'd be, worked for two companies, been made redundant, wanted my own business. And I decided, right, I want 18 months, two years, I want to complete. Plus, I had pressure from the father-in-law. And so, um, literally, why not you decide, say, right, two years, I want to finish, especially if you're full-time, yeah, and I'm going to work to that goal. I'm going to do everything I can full time. I mean full time. I mean going out. E no, every day. That's what I would be doing. Pointing everything, doing all the things you've mentioned, Dean, and going for it. And yeah. say, I want that green badge then. Absolutely. And I'm going to work towards that. And I'd come. I try and come off the fifty sixes as fast as I possibly can. Absolutely. Could. Great advice, yeah. Yeah. Paul. Well, the, the first one, yes, do it. Um, of course, yeah. Get get your runs done. Get your three twenty runs done as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. Or six four, we like six four. But get them three twenties. Don't the two years is not a target. Get it done before that two years because that just makes it a lot longer. Yep. Get it done. Get on appearances and keep going out because they do the runs. They get you talk. You know they done. I've done three twenty runs. Yeah. When's the last time you drove many hours to Kismet Square? Or oh, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Keep going out on the bike and keep working it and go over them and over them. The, the, the blue book is the bones. Yes, uh, and you got to get them under your belt and you got they link up to everything else. But get that done. Know the blue book. Call it over every day. Even if you've got no intention, you're going to a wedding, you're going to a christening. In that morning while you're in the bath, you're getting ready. Call over a couple. Might get it wrong. Go back later. Have a look at it. But call over every day and get out and keep going out and out and out. Wonderful. And, and call your points. Yeah. Because yeah. if, you, if yeah. you've seen it a month ago and you haven't called the points, you forget. Yeah. It's and, human nature. But what I will say is don't cheat yourself mm. because that's what happens a lot. You go, Are you going out? Yeah, I'm going out, I'm going out. You're not really going out. You're saying you're going out and you're doing it, but you're not really doing it. So don't mm. cheat yourself. Do they, they do cheat do themselves. They cheat themselves by trying to do what's the easiest aspect of whatever the knowledge yeah. is. I'll well, do more of that. The, when the, Yeah. The, the, the thing is they, they want to get through the knowledge to be a taxi driver, but you, you don't cheat on the knowledge because that is your apprenticeship to be the taxi driver. Mm -hmm. So get through that, do it properly, and you will be a taxi yeah. driver. If you cheat on that, it's going to take you longer to be a taxi driver. Well, when yeah. only people look at it, when I work on the weakest areas, I, I for some reason I didn't like WC1, Tottenham Court Road, Gower Street. I just didn't like it. I couldn't tell you, you why. You lost it now, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. So, um, and I've drawn maps on it now, so there we go. But I mean, <laughs> that was my thing. And in the end, I decided, right, bang. Saturday mornings there, bang, till it till it came. So why not make the areas you feel uncomfortable with, let's say your strongest ones. Your strongest mm -hmm. ones. So work on the weak areas, yep. you know, and then and take it up from there. Because sure enough, sometimes you just get asked that particular area. It just happens. Yeah. And then you can shine on the actual uh, I always felt that, yeah. If you're weak, yeah. don't complain about being weak there. No, that's right. Go there and be make it a strong place. So it was it was Nigel Hawthorne. Nigel Hawthorne. Oh, oh, it took you an hour and 20 yeah, minutes to exactly, think of that, yes, David. That's yes, hesitation. Exactly, That's a yes, D exactly, for you today, yes, Mr. Hawthorne. Well, I don't think get a two off for that. It's all right. <laughs> 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 well, well, wonderful actor uh, and, and wonderful guests really uh, thank you very much for coming along no, it's been cool. amazing right. and I'm sure people are going to benefit from much of what you've said and, and feel a lot clearer about things I hope it was um, really insightful um, I'd love to have you back one day okay. um, and maybe we can get Jane Ayres and Mark Gunning maybe to come in um, or anyone else, but that was really thank you, thank you, thank you. Were, and you, were you surprised thought. we came in, or were you no? I wasn't surprised. I think there would have been.